Yo, what's good, guys? Venom Fire here, back in the video, and today I'm be talking about the Madden 21 beta. So, Madden 21 beta, it's not here at the time of recording, but once it is here, it's gonna be going fast. The beta usually only lasts, uh, I think, a week, a couple of days. Now, I was lucky enough to be able to play the Madden 19 and the Madden 20 beta, and I'm gonna talk about what I used, what I spent that time with the beta, and how you can completely get, you know, the best at the game. So. First things first, you're going to open up the beta and there's going to be a couple of game modes. You're going to have a practice mode, you're going to have a, I think a connected franchise mode, and you're going to have an online head-to-head -head mode, as well as a play now, obviously, but there's only going to be about four teams. Now this is um, based off of the two betas, obviously that could change, we don't know too much information yet. So you'll have four teams, usually it's the four teams that were in the NFC and AFC Championship games, so it'd be Packers, Niners. Um, and then on the AFC side, it would be Chiefs Titans. Now, hopefully we don't get those teams because I don't think anybody wants to use the Titans or the Packers, but that's just what it was. So first things first, whenever I open up the beta, what I want to do is I always just hop into an online game. And this is what I do with any new Madden, pretty much any new game. You want to hop into it online. Don't just first things first, hop into practice mode, try and find an offense. What you want to do is just hop into a game blindly and see where it takes you. You want to find out just stuff without even thinking about it. Don't overthink things. Don't try out a new formation every single play. Just, you know, go out. I would say run the same playbook you're running right now in Madden, not Madden 20. And then just see how it takes you. Try out new things. You know, don't be afraid. Don't care about losing. Wins and losses don't matter. I think I was top 20 on the Madden 20 beta. It does not matter at all. Um, but again, like I said, you just want to go in blindly. Don't necessarily care about winning the game. Care about finding things that are cool, finding things that can make you the best when the actual game comes out, because that's really what does matter. So, um, usually what I like to do, and this is before I even go into practice mode, what I do is I actually enter, you know, um, probably around three games. I usually play three games and then I hop into practice mode. So um, usually what I do is I try out my three favorite playbooks from the previous game. So personally my favorite playbooks um, are West Coast, Saints, and the Raiders. Those are probably the three best playbooks. You could also throw in the Packers. That's another one. But I try out three, you know, just play three games. I have a bunch heavy scheme. I have a run heavy scheme. And then I have sort of a balanced QB running type of a scheme with Saints, although it is more pass oriented. So again, you got three different schemes. I'm going to try all of them out. Um, you can switch your teams up. I like to sort of stick with the same team. Uh, and again, your opponents could vary. You could be playing somebody really awful at the start of the beta. And then as you start winning games or whatever the case is, you'll the skill level will increase. So that's something that you should... Um, notice as well because if you try out you know Saints offense against a bot and it works don't expect it to just be the best offense just because you beat someone who doesn't really know what they're doing and yeah so that's pretty much the best advice that I could give you right off the bat so the first day I hop into three online games and then usually I'll go into practice mode try some of the specific formations that I like myself um, that's gonna that's gonna bunch and then I, I might even go and try out abilities as well so that's as far as the offense is concerned. Now on defense, um, again, it's going to be a little bit similar. I want you guys to go in, try some of the same stuff. I want you to try the 3-4 odd blitz, send 7. I want you to try big down 1-4-6, cover 2 sink, cover 3, try the blitzes. Um, but what I like to do is I'm just going to, you know, come out and try different coverage things. I'm going to test out the new coaching adjustments. And like I said, I'm just going to change it every play, see if I can find something that works. Because it doesn't matter if my opponent's scoring a touchdown. I'm fine with him scoring a touchdown in one play. If I mess up, you know, my coaching adjustments, whatever the case is. Like I said, these wins don't matter. It's all about testing the game. And really, we're testing it for bugs. So what you want to do is find any issues. So I'm just going to hop in, like I said, a blind game. And what I want to see is any issues. I'm just going to play it normally. Uh, as I would, it's... If it were Madden 20, obviously it's not, but some of the issues will be the same with the game. We're going to try out the run, try out the same run D, and we're just going to see if there's any bugs with the game. If I roll out to the left for whatever reason, the corner blitzes, something like that. Um, in Madden 19 beta, I think it was fake screen wheel that was really good. 
Madden 20. Nothing really specifically, but the run, you know, was very good in Madden 20. Beta, I was just running with the Rams, and I just ran halfback dive pretty much every play and would kill people with it. So I already knew that the run was going to be super good in Madden 20 just from off the beta. So you can really see what the game's going to be like launch day off the beta, and it doesn't change too much. That's one thing. A lot of people think that the game is going to you know, be completely overhauled. This scheme isn't going to work just because it worked in the beta. A lot of the schemes work now. Um, that's not necessarily a guarantee because in the Madden 20 beta, what I was running was I was running single back trio. Single back trio uh, it was a really good formation in Madden 19. If you're unfamiliar with it, I was running that formation. It's a really good, had a really good run, and then it had a really good RPO stretch. And in the beta, a lot of people thought RPO stretches were going to be the meta just because of how difficult they were to defend. Nobody knew uh, that you could man him up on the slot receiver and he would play the bubble. But yeah, that was my scheme. Uh, like I said, I was top 25, whatever. Top 50, I think. And yeah, I tried it day one of Mutt, uh, day one of launch, and I got absolutely killed running it. And I got out of it immediately. I was running the, I was in the Vikings offense. That was my offense I found. And yeah, so something else that you should probably do in practice mode, and I would recommend doing this, is go try out the new abilities. Um, you guys see, we're it's pretty embarrassing as a Madden community for finding abilities that are really good right now. And if you can be ahead of the game, ahead of the curve on launch day, um, find a glitchy ability that nobody knows about, uh, you really can set yourself apart for that first month, first week, whatever, first weekend league. And so like I mentioned, I would, I'm going to try out the D-line abilities. I'm going to come out in big nickel, pinch my D-line, see if they get the glitchy sheds with the abilities. And then what I'm going to do is maybe try out Escape Artist, try out a Roaming Deadeye, try out Dash and Deadeye. Obviously, we don't know the exact abilities that we're going to have, but that's why you want to go through. I think they have a Superstar X Factor main menu where you can go through, look at every player that has an ability, look at all of the abilities. So I can see, see if I find something glitchy that looks, you know, cool, unique, then I can go ahead and, you know, test those out one by one or whichever player I want. So that's something that you could really do. You can also try and do that online, but like I said, the teams are limited. Um, and actually, I don't even know if you can try out all the all the abilities. You might just want to scratch that just because we don't know how many teams there are. I, I, the thing is, the Ravens are on the cover of... Lamar's on the cover, so I would assume that you'd be able to play with the Ravens. Obviously, that's not a guarantee, but I feel like it would make sense if you were able to. But like I mentioned in past years, it was the top four teams. So we really, really don't know. In Madden 19, it was the um, Rams, Saints, Patriots, and Chiefs. Madden 20, or no, that's what it was in Madden 20. So again, just really, and pretty much everyone just ran the Chiefs. If so you were a good player, you ran the Chiefs. That was really the best team. Saints, terrible because of Drew Brees, but... Um, yeah, so those are just a couple of pointers. Some other things that you could go ahead and try, like I mentioned, um, on the um, on the side of the ball, I will always try and find a new play. So see, actually, this is gonna talk about. I want to talk about the playbooks. Go through playbooks. Now, a lot of the playbooks are probably gonna be similar. I think we're getting a Twitch stream on the playbooks soon. I think from EA, so this could all be you know done for if we just find out right now. But I assume we're going to get some new formations, some new plays, some plays taken out. And there's always good plays. There's always new good plays every year. Even out of bunch, there's always like a good play. Deep corner was terrible. No one ran it in Madden 19, Madden 20. It's a top, top three bunch play, top two bunch play. So there's always really good plays. Um, there's going to be a really good play. I guarantee you there's going to be multiple good plays in Madden 21 that nobody knew about in Madden 20. And that's just how the game is. So... Again, I talked about that. Now, um, as far as blocking goes, I, let, I really am going to focus on blocking um, and really see if the blocking is better. I'm going to try sliding different ways, try double teaming certain players, and just see if that works. Now, probably the only player with the skate bars we're going to get is Mahomes, which will be, you know, pretty bad. And it is pretty unfortunate, but again, it is what it is. It's something that, you know, you got to deal with. Because Rodgers, Garoppolo, Tannehill are not going to have escape artists. Like I said, if we get Lamar, though, or whatever, then that could all be changed. But, yeah. So, the list, pretty much, as far as the beta goes, hop, you know, go into the beta. At least hop into one game. Like I said, I hop into three. 
Um, you could always hop into three, you could hop into five. I like to hop into one. And then right off the bat, I you know write, might write down a couple of notes on a doc on things I noticed. And maybe I might even, I don't know. It's unfortunate that you're not allowed to stream because I could go back and watch the footage, which you know is unfortunate, but it is what it is. You can't complain. You'll still be able to notice certain things like um, in Madden 19, cross manning was really good. I would run this big nickel over G where I would cross man the safety, the free safety on the deep receiver on the right and the strong safety on the deep receiver on the left. I tried it in the Madden 20 beta and KMAC beat me like 35 to six. Uh, so it's just things like that. You want to try out everything so you don't get caught at the beginning of Madden 20 with a terrible offense. But that's pretty much going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. If you're ready for the Madden 21 beta, I think it's coming out hopefully within the next week. So hopefully, you know, pretty soon. Um, hopefully you guys did sign up for it. If not, I know they're giving out codes on Twitter pages, whatever. So make sure you guys are paying attention to that. I did sign up though, so hopefully nothing bad happens. But that's going to do it for the video, and peace. I'm out of here.